Let's make a room for our little Disney princesses. From Wreck-It Ralph breaks the internet. Using recycled paperboard and printables from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. I start by taking recycled paperboard. I'm using some discarded cereal boxes. I take a cereal box and cut it straight up the center. Take another box the same size. Take another cereal box and cut up the side to make large rectangles. And I'm going to keep the bottom tab attached. So we have two of those to go on either side. I cut another box and this time I left the tab on the side and the bottom. So I can glue the side tab underneath one of the rectangles to connect them. Using a glue stick, glue the first rectangle onto the cut side of the first box. Then glue the one with the side tab underneath. Repeat on the other side to make the walls for our room. I'm going to cover them using printables. I am using a plain wall in the center. Then I glue the ones with curtains on the sides. I use a brick on the back to keep it neat. Fold the tabs at the bottom in. Take a piece of recycled cardboard. Place the walls on top. Trace around it on the back. Cut on the line drawn. Cover with paper. Glue it into the room on top of the tabs to make the floor. Now I have a little recess in the room right there. So I use paper to make a pattern. Folding it to get just the right shape. Trace it onto foam board. Cut it out. And remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. Cut two. Cut another one out of cardboard. Glue the foam board into the box. Gluing small rectangles between them for support to make a seating area. Take the cardboard, glue on a layer of felt, then fabric. Glue it on top of the foam board to make it comfy for the princesses and add a little storage. Giving us a large room. Draw ovals on paperboard. I'm using a wood cutout. Cut them out. Cut them in half. Stack and glue them together. Cut wooden dowels to go underneath. Cut a strip of paperboard. I use fancy scissors on one side. Glue it around the edge. Glue on layers of paperboard to look like a drawer. Paint it. Add a sticker gem for a knob. Glue it to the wall and the floor to help support the wall. Glue gems onto the wall for a little sparkle. I take a cracker box. Cut one side. Adjust the size to fit the doll. Glue on felt. Cut a rectangle of paperboard. Cover it with felt. Cover it with fabric. Fold it in half and glue it together. Cover the box with fabric. Glue the two pieces together. Cut two pieces of fabric. I cut one a little longer than the other so I can fold it over and iron down. Fold it over again. Place it on the box and glue it underneath. Once you get past the turndown, you can trim some of the second layer underneath to make it a little easier to glue down. Glue on ribbon for trim to make a no-sew bed. Add a pillow. Add a folded cut piece of t-shirt to the bottom to be a throw at the bottom of the bed. Cut a picture off the back of the doll box. Glue it onto the wall for a big screen TV. Cut rectangles of foam board Stack and glue them together. Cover it with fleece or felt like we did in our doll sectional video. Then glue the rectangles together, making an L shape. Glue some on to the back. To add height, I glue beads underneath to make a couch for the room. Sew large pillows to go on the floor. Add smaller pillows around the room to spread the color. Cut squares of fabric. Lay them good side to good side. Sew a straight stitch going around the edge, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. I want this print to be on the outside, so I fold it in half and sew across the bottom and halfway up the side. Flip it inside out to make a sleeping bag for the dolls. And we can store them underneath the bench when not in use. Fold fabric accordion style Cut a wedge shape, 
sew them together along the side edge, then open it up to add the next wedge. Once they've all been sewn together, I left an opening at the bottom so it can be turned inside out. Add fluff, sew the opening closed. I used a small circle of fabric and to give it that beanbag shape, I'm gonna sew down the center to make a beanbag for Cinderella. Add a bag of our printable doll chips to make the ultimate princess sleepover room. Inspired by Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. And now we have a place to play with our Disney princesses that is big enough to hold them all. Thank you for joining us while we made our Disney Princess Sleepover Room. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! Want to give a shout out to Mia McKinnon. What's up? There, another masterpiece done. Nice painting, Rapunzel. But can you paint with all of the colors of the wind? Ah. Let's turn on some music and dance. I ain't got time for dancing. That's just gonna have to wait a while. <laughs> Get it? Wow.